In this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the most affordable neighborhoods in Baton Rouge. And I get it, affordability is super relative. What's affordable to one person may be a dream home to another. But what I find talking to most of you guys that are moving to the Baton Rouge area, that you're typically looking around the 300,000s and the 400,000s, but in this video, we're also going to talk about some neighborhoods you can still get into in the $200,000 price range. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the MLS and we're going to see how many homes are available in each of the price points that we're looking in. Then we're going to jump over into Google Maps and we're going to take a look around some of the neighborhoods to see what's out there. So if you're ready to get into it, let's go. Hey guys, Sean Ramos here and welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Louisiana where we're talking everything you need to know about moving to or living in Louisiana. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And I am a licensed realtor in the state of Louisiana. As much as I do love making these videos for you guys, what I really love is to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now is the best way that you can reach out to me. I am the guy that replies to every single call, text, or email that comes through. So if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making the move to Louisiana, don't hesitate to reach out. So let's talk about what you can get for your money when you're buying a house in Baton Rouge. We're gonna look at three different price points. We're gonna start in the $400,000 price range and we're gonna go down to the 300s and then we're gonna get down to the 200s and see what's available. So let's get started. We're gonna jump in the MLS right now and see what's available in the 400s. All right, so here in the MLS, let's take a look and see what's available in Baton Rouge for this price point. So we're gonna look in the city of Baton Rouge all active listings and we're looking 400,000 to 499, 999. All right, so that gives us 108 active listings at this time. So the first one I wanna talk about is Audubon Park. So let's pull those up and see what is available in the 400s. Um, they've got some three bedroom, two baths and one that's a three bedroom, three baths. And these are gonna be newer houses. So the oldest one listed right now was built in 2018, so it's about five years old at this point. So um, no old houses in this neighborhood. So let's go take a look at the map and see um, what's in the neighborhood or what's around the neighborhood. So all right, so Alden Park is a small little subdivision right here off Tiger Bend Road, right between Jones Creek and Hickory Ridge Boulevard. Uh, so the theme of this is going to be basically that Baton Rouge is not a very large city, right? It's, it's a mid-sized city, so no matter where you're at in Baton Rouge, you're convenient to just about everything. You're never really far from anything, but let's look and see what's right around this particular subdivision. So zooming in a little bit, right around the corner, uh, there's a big gym here. Right up the street from that is the Jones Creek Regional Branch Library. When you zoom out and go up Jones Creek, of course you got all the restaurants up and down this road. As far as shopping goes, there's a high neighbor grocery store. There's an Albertsons right next to it. Uh, you've got a movie theater right here. And then of course, all the businesses and restaurants along Corsi Boulevard. There's a, a neighborhood Walmart right here. And let's see, it's CC's Coffee House. So you got lots of restaurants and little coffee shops and stuff like that in the area. In the other direction, you know, you're not far from Seagan Lane and Blue Bonnet Boulevard. So, You've got Segan Plaza that has the Target and Ross and a lot of different shops like that. Um, just on the other side of the interstate, uh, there's a Walmart Supercenter, there's a Lowe's, Sam's Club, all those big stores that you typically see clustered up in the city. And one exit down, you've got the Mall of Louisiana, Perkins Row. So you're pretty convenient to lots of things in Audubon Park. Okay, the next neighborhood I want to look at in the 400s in Baton Rouge is Water's Edge at Lexington Estates. So let's see what's available. There are five homes currently available in the MLS. You can see they start at $400,000 and go up to $499.9. So you've got the whole range of the 400s that are here available. So these are going to be brand new construction. And let's jump on the map so I can show you this neighborhood. So we're gonna be down 
South Baton Rouge for this one. So here's where you're looking inside of um, Lexington Estates. Um, back in the back is a little gated community. The entrance would be right here and Water's Edge would be this area here. So uh, a lot of nice new homes in the neighborhood. Uh, it's a nice location too. So you're a little bit further out, not very far out, but it's where Blue Bonnet Boulevard meets Highway 30. You're gonna be right off of Highway 30. So, I mean, you're minutes away from La Burge Casino and Hotel. In the other direction, you're minutes away from University Club Golf Course, which of course is the home of LSU men's and women's golf. And it's really one of the nicer golf courses in Louisiana. And you can actually get a membership here. So you'll have access to all the tennis courts and the pickleball courts. There's a top of the line fitness center. And there are a couple of pools that you have access to. You have a resort style pool and a lap pool. Another nice perk of living in Water's Edge here to me is the easy access you have to a couple of big parks. So you've got Burbank Park right here, which is more known for their soccer complex. Ton of soccer fields here. There's a nice lake with a fishing pier and you've got the dog park here in the corner. Uh, but my favorite park is Highland Road Community Park that you have easy access to. So uh, you've got a ton of green space here. There's a boat launch if you want to put your kayak into this bayou and go paddling around. There's an observatory. Um, there's a playground, splash pad, tennis center. So you've got a lot going on at Highland Road Community Park. All right, so as far as shopping goes, just zoom out a little bit so you can see where you're at relative to the neighborhood. But if you come up Blue Bonnet Boulevard, there is going to be a Walmart and an Albertsons right here on this corner. And then a little bit further up the street, if you want something a little more local, there's a Rouse's Market, which people tend to love, and also Fresh Market here at Perkins Row. And then being so close to Blue Bonnet, one of the perks is, uh, aside from all the good restaurants and places, up and down this street is, again, you got access to Perkins Row and the Mall of Louisiana. All right, next, let's get back in the MLS and let's look at some condos. So in the 400s, you can get into the Crescent at University Lake. So right now in the 400s, there are three units available. So let's take a look. All right, so you're going to be around 14 to 1500 square feet. You're going to get a one bedroom or a two bedroom. And they're going to range anywhere from $450,000 up to $480,000 right now. So let's jump in the map and see what's in the area. So we're going to get over here by LSU on Stanford Avenue. You will find the Crescent at University Lake right here. So if you don't want a yard to maintain, these condos could be a great option. The units that are available right now were all built in 2008. And again, you've got no grass to mow. Let's jump over to another view so you can see what you've got. But you know, you got this resort style pool. There's an on-site gym. And you've got this nice walk-in trail around the lake. Well, let's talk about some of the other pros of living in this area. So you're right across the street from Milford Wampo Memorial Park. So again, they've got a little boat launch there so you can get out in the water. You'll see a lot of activity up and down these sidewalks. People like to go walk, jog, and bike. And you're probably only about a five minute bike ride from Tiger Stadium at LSU. And then you've got pretty easy access to uh, Mid-City and downtown Baton Rouge. And you're probably only looking at about a 10 minute drive to get over to the Mall of Louisiana and Perkins Row. Now, as far as the shopping, it's a little closer to the neighborhood. Uh, for your groceries, right down the street, there is a Trader Joe's. Um, right down the street from there, there's a Sprouts Farmer's Market in the front of Ruzan. And then here on College Drive, there's also a Walmart and an Albertsons. And if you're a foodie, this is a great location because there's so many great restaurants right in this area and also closer to LSU. All right, let's go back to the MLS and see what's available in the 300s now. So we're gonna change this price point from 300 to 399, 999. 
Now that gives us 212 active listings in the city of Baton Rouge. So the lower price point definitely gives us more options. And the first neighborhood I want to look into is Heron Point. Right now there are eight active listings in the neighborhood. So again, this is brand new construction by DR Horton. You see the price ranges go right now in the threes from 336.9 up to 357.665. And that'll get you a house anywhere from 1,940 square feet up to over 2,200 square feet with four bedrooms. And don't hold me to this, but right now DR Horton is given like $16,000 in buyer incentives, but it changes weekly. So if you're ever curious about the incentives that any uh, builder is giving, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You can shoot me a call, text, or an email and I'm happy to get that information for you. Well, let's jump into Google Maps and see what's in the area. So, see the neighborhood is gonna be right here. It's really just this little circle. There is an elementary school that's located right at the entrance. And then when you zoom out, see what's around. So you see you're right off of Airline Highway where Sherwood Forest meets Airline. And then Sherwood Forest turns into Segan Lane once you cross over Airline Highway. So you got a lot going on here. Again, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. And I thought it was funny the other day, someone was shocked and appalled when I told them I had never been to this Total Wine and more. So it's something I'm gonna check out and maybe you should check it out too if you like to have a drink. Then also on Segan, right across the interstate, um, you've got things like uh, the Sam's Club, you got a uh, Walmart, Lowe's, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, all these shops in here, but there's also some fun things to do too. Top Golf is right here. Uh, there is a YMCA just on the other side of the street. It's actually right here. There's a Chuck E. Cheese. Um, and if you like a top golf type place, don't forget about golf suites of Baton Rouge. Okay, the next neighborhood I want to jump in the MLS and take a look at is Capitol Heights. If we're looking in the 300s. So right now in the neighborhood, there are six available listings. And let's see what we've got. So you're starting right around 350,000 going up to 399 and that can get you anywhere from a 1,363 square foot house up to 2,148 square feet. And these are older houses. You can see they're listing those from, you know, 51 to 75 years old and then 76 years old plus. And of the ones that actually have a year built date, the, old, the one they show is from 1950. So definitely some older houses. Some are going to be remodeled. Some are going to need to be updated. Let's jump in the map and take a look at the area. So Capitol Heights is gonna be located over in this mid-city south area. And it's right along Government Street and South Acadian Thruway. And this is a little bit of a trendier area to me. You've got a lot of cool restaurants, uh, breweries and coffee shop type places up and down Government Street. The neighborhood's really close to a couple really popular private schools. You've got Catholic High right here, St. Joseph's Academy. Also really close is City Brooks Community Park. So there is a nice little nine hole golf course here, Raising Cane's Dog Park. You're right by the Knock Knock Children's Museum. And of course you've got tennis courts, all the good park things. And also from the neighborhood, you've got really easy access into downtown Baton Rouge. So if you follow Government Street, straight out to the west is gonna curve into uh, River Road where you know, you've got all the downtown stuff. So you got the Raising Cane's River Center, which is the big event center for Baton Rouge where the comedy shows and the concerts and things like that happen. And also the new hockey team that's coming, this is where they'll be playing. And you got a lot of cool things like the USS Kid, um, there is, you know, some art and science museums, Old State Capitol, a lot of places to visit, and there are also a couple of casinos right here in downtown. You've got the Bella Baton Rouge, and then a little further up. Um, quick story on this one. This was actually, until just, just recently, Hollywood Casino, but they were bought, and everything was rebranded, and they just opened back up as the Queen Baton Rouge. So, 
Uh, here it's really nice. I'm curious to go check that out. I don't do a lot of gambling these days, but I think it might be worth the trip. And the last neighborhood I want to talk about in the threes is Matera. So you've got four active listings right now available in the threes. You've got some two bedrooms and you've got some three bedrooms from 1,468 square feet up to 1,928. So let's jump into Google Maps and check out the area. So this is going to be the subdivision. You know, so it's located right off of Airline Highway where Stumberg meets Airline. One cool thing is they have a school right here in the neighborhood. Let's change this up. So you got so you got the basis Baton Rouge Matera campus, which is a tuition-free public charter school that services kindergarten through ninth grade. Another nice little perk, if you happen to be pregnant, right across the roundabout is Woman's Hospital. So you don't have to go very far to have your baby. And there's you know a lot of little entertainment things that are close. You've got the skating ring that's right here down the street. Um, let me just mark this neighborhood. So yep, you've got the skating rink right here. Right here on Sherwood, there's also a um, escape room that you can check out. I know my kids love that, but the neighborhood right here again, super convenient to everything in the Segan Lane area. So you've got Top Golf, you've got golf suites of Baton Rouge. There's also a trampoline park right here in this area. You got movie theaters, the mall, the aquarium inside the mall. So you've got lots to do and you don't have to go very far to get to it. But while we're on Segan Lane, I do want to run one thing by you. If you're not from the area, I think this is something you need to know, but you need to check out this place, Ambrosia Bakery. So this is like a staple here in Baton Rouge. I'm going to show you specifically. There is a cake that you need to try when you get here. Here it is. So it's the fresh strawberry cake. This is like a delicacy here. So in here, I'll even make you a deal that if you move to the area and you use me as your realtor, remind me and I will buy you one of these cakes. I don't typically do like a closing gift, but um, if you mention this, I'll get you one of these. And if you offer me a slice, I probably won't turn it down. All right, so let's jump back in the MLS. Now we're gonna get into some neighborhoods that you can get into for the $200,000 price range. So let's switch this up to 200 to 299, 999. And now we've got even more options as far as active listings go. You've got 256 available homes in that price point. And the first neighborhood I wanna look into is Broadmoor. So currently there are four homes available in Broadmoor in the 200s. So you start at 2099 and you get up to 265,000. That gets you anywhere from a three bedroom up to a five bedroom, two bath. And again, these are gonna be older homes. Some have been remodeled, some will need to be updated. But you know, at these prices, you know, you can afford to do a little updating. So let's jump into Google Maps and take a quick look. So this is the whole Broadmoor, Sherwood Forest area. Uh, these homes that are available in Broadmoor are going to be within these boundaries of Florida Boulevard, Sherwood Forest, I-12, and Airline Highway. Again, really convenient location, just like pretty much everything in Baton Rouge, but you, you're really close to all the schools. There's Broadmoor High School, Broadmoor Middle, Audubon Elementary School, and then there is also, it's not showing up, but yeah, uh, middle school, a magnet school that's available. Um, and if you prefer a private school, then you've got St. Thomas More right here. And also right in the neighborhood is Hammond Air Plaza. So you've got a lot of shops in here, grocery store, there's a gym. And then right down the street is town center, like the outdoor kind of open air mall. 
All right, so let's go check out another neighborhood that you can get into in the 200. So we're gonna take a look at Chapel Hill in Baton Rouge. There are eight active listings right now in Chapel Hill. So you can get in there anywhere from 229 up to 236. So everything's pretty reasonable. These are gonna be some new construction townhomes all around you know 1400 square feet plus or minus there are some two bedrooms and some three bedroom options so we'll go check out the map this neighborhood is located right off of south harold's ferry near o'neill lane so just going to be this little neighborhood right here and right now it's worth mentioning too that the builder is also offering up to $8,000 towards your closing costs if you buy one of these units and use their title company. And let's see what's close to the area. So shopping wise, right? You've got your Walmart Supercenter. There is a Target right down here on the Millerville exit. It's pretty convenient to the high neighbor and the Albertsons that are located on George O'Neill and Jones Creek. And then there's also the Walmart neighborhood market right here, which my wife likes to call the green Walmart. Is this one green? Yeah, so that's why she calls it green Walmart. But you are also really close to Forest Community Park. So this is another nice park. It's got a lot of good things here going on. So if you're looking for somewhere that has some ball fields, um, there's a dog park here. There's a nice lake with walking trails. There are a lot of tennis courts. Um, I don't see any pickleball courts. How does anybody not have pickleball courts? Maybe they do. Maybe this just isn't updated. But lots of tennis courts. There's even, I need to look into this because I think I'm pretty good at ping pong, but there's a Baton Rouge Table Tennis Club here. Now you got the playground, um, there's a splash pad for the kids, a lot of things to do, a lot of open area, you know, green space here. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I know we did three neighborhoods each in the 400s and the 300s, but since there's more options in the 200s, we're gonna do more than three. But the third neighborhood we're going to look at is Shenandoah Estates. So in the 200s, there are five active listings right now. So you can get into Shenandoah right now between 230,000 up to 275,000, and that gets you anywhere from a little under 1,500 square feet up to almost 2,300 square feet. And again, these are gonna be some older houses. So let's jump over to the map so I can show you where this is at. So the whole Shenandoah neighborhood is located in this area, but these homes are gonna be right up in here. So, you know, you, your borders are kind of George O'Neill, Jones Creek, Tiger Bend, and you're you know right in the same area as before. So you got access to all the same things, the high neighbors, the Albertsons, the movie theaters, the Walmart neighborhoods, the parks, all that good stuff. But there is an additional park, Antioch Boulevard Park, right here in the Shenandoah neighborhood. Okay, now let's go check out another neighborhood called Pelican Lakes. So right now there are 19 active listings in the 200s in Pelican Lakes. And these are mostly gonna be brand new construction um, from DR Horton. Let's see, you've got starting prices at 266.9, they go up to 294.9 anywhere from just under 1,400 square feet up to a little over 1,600 square feet. And again, don't forget about the incentives that DL Horton's offering right now. I think it's $16,000 you can use towards closing costs, upgrades, all that good stuff if you do use their lender and their title company. So let's jump in the map and check out the area. So it's gonna be right down here. Um, how I know it's closed is to look for Sammy's Grill. So it's going to be off of Burbank. Um, yeah, this is the neighborhood here. So some cool things that are right near the neighborhood. If you have kids that are athletes, you got Traction Sports Complex right here. Let's see if we can change the view so you can see how cool this place is. 
Yep, so you got a lot of ballparks here. Um, so a lot of big tournaments happen here. So it's, it's a pretty fun place. And then you've also got Perkins Road Community Park right up the street. So this is the only park that I know of in Baton Rouge that has some of these things. But there's a skate park here. You've got a velodrome. And there is a rock wall. It says it's temporarily closed right now, so it's something you want to look into. But there's a BMX raceway, raceway, sorry. So this is a little bit more of an extreme sports park. So this is something different and unique that you don't see a lot of in Baton Rouge. But Perkins Road Community Park is where you want to go to check that stuff out. Another perk of living in Pelican Lakes is a lot of the really good restaurants that are right in the area. So you got Superior Grill on Highland. You got the Shed Barbecue, which is really good. You got Fat Boy's Pizza, Sammy's Grill, and then you're really close to all the Blue Bonnet stuff. Route 61 is a restaurant I love, and you got all the good restaurants in Perkins Road. Now on Burbank, if you go the other direction, this will run you right over into LSU. All right, then there's another neighborhood in the 200s I wanted to talk about, and I almost didn't even mention this one because they're, you know, they're almost $300,000. They're basically $300,000. There are five units available. They're technically in the twos, but they're all listed for $299, $990. But these are, again, some um, really nice attached single family homes. These are townhomes, and they just did such a good job. I think they look so good. I just wanted to mention these also. But these units are all 1,830 square feet. They're all three bedrooms with two and a half baths. So let me show you where they're at on the map. So you're basically right outside of LSU. So you got Louisiana State University here, Lake Villas right here. Again, brand new construction. You're right on Burbank and Lee Drive. So there's a lot going on in this area in the Highlands Perkins Road area. And you're again, just outside of LSU. So there's gonna be a lot of student housing out here. I'm sure there's a lot of condos, a lot of townhomes and some apartments. So this might be a really good option if you have kids that are gonna to go to LSU and you're looking for a place to buy that could be, you know, potentially an investment property after your kids are out of school. This might be a good place to look into. So you can see that in just about any price point, there's something in Baton Rouge that'll work for you and I'm the guy that can help you find it. So all you have to do is give me a call or shoot me a text or an email. All my information is at the bottom of your screen right now and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have or help you make the move down here to Louisiana. Guarantee that we can find something for you that fits in your budget. And I'm also interested to hear in the comments what you guys think of these neighborhoods. And I say that I'm interested. I'm not so much interested in the trolls who just like to point out the obvious fact that there is crime in a city. You guys can keep your comments to yourself. But I'm happy to help you guys in any way I can, so don't hesitate to reach out. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because every week I'm putting out brand new videos just like this one. You guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next video.